Hey, this is Bibi Renee 7. Welcome to my channel. I want to read Psalms 68, verse 19, and it is coming from the New International Version. Praise be to the Lord, to God, our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. God is the one who cares for us, who helps us in time of need. First, I want to show y'all what I am using for today. And it is the Brazil Nut Body Sculpting Body Wash, Body Mist, and Body Butter Collection. And this is the Brazil Nut Body Glow Set. And it comes in this packaging. And they had it a few months ago. And I'm glad for the opportunity to have been able to pick it up. I tried this homeboy last night. And this is what I put in my tub. my Not my tub, y'all. I'm sorry. In my shower. This is the Aromatherapy Lavender Plus Vanilla. This is what I put inside of my tub. Uh, I keep saying tub. I'm not deleting this, y'all. This is what I put inside of my shower, on the floor of my shower, and allow the water to drizzle over it so it can give me a nice aroma. And it did fill my space. It smells so good. When you first smell it, it just like, it smells so good and soothing. Oh, y'all will have to try these. First, I did the body salt scrub right here and this was different because I don't usually do that I don't do scrubs all the time um I do like use my body wash or soap bar or whatever lather that up and then just get the scrubbing yeah this is something that I was able to use and I enjoyed it started off with this the body um salt scrub this was nice I did not use a tool to um, apply this. I just use my hand. Then I'm going to go in with my body wash and just go to town and just get a nice little cleanse. Um, I really liked it. It seemed like I couldn't smell but so much with the scrub, but with the body wash, I could smell it. They were awesome. It was so nice and relaxing. I was able to uh, clean my body with a nice fragrance, a nice aroma um, in my bathroom. And then after I took my shower, I came out and applied the body butter. Now, I'm not sure if it's the same as the body butter that they have, uh, Trader Joe's body butter that um, comes in a, a larger container. I'm not sure because I didn't use that yet. I only uh, had a chance to use the coconut scent scented um body butter but i want to try I, this smelled really good and then i applied this oh i thought it was and nice this is, um brazilian crush um terosa 62 and this is the pistachio and salted caramel i think this is stronger with the um nutty fragrance than this this is more of a softer fragrance but it smells so good, and my husband liked it. So I wouldn't mind getting uh, the body mist and the butter. And I don't know about the scrub, because like I said, I just use really the my body wash to exfoliate. Sometimes you want to get in the shower and get out. You want to make sure you're clean, but you don't want to go through a whole lot of steps just like it is with natural hair or just hair period. That's why one reason why I was so glad I stopped coloring my hair because all those steps plus um, trying to take care of your hair, you want to lessen those steps because it is too much. Today I will be discussing some different things and show y'all some of the things that I've purchased but I'm going to start with, okay, to let y'all know, it is time for y'all to start making y'all plans for the semi-annual sale this winter. And it usually starts the day after Christmas. 
Now, I've been making mine for a while, um, just looking at some of the items we had during the season of summer. I don't know what they're going to have out, but just making a list so if I see it, I'll know that I can pick it up. Um, this is the time for y'all to start testing out things. If you haven't done it already, start testing out some of the things that they have. They even now have Christmas items coming out. And if you can get your hands on it and try that tester out, smell it. They have a sink inside of the store. Some of them are functional. And if you can use it and it's not broken, go on and wash those hands and start testing out those products. If you can get in certain times when they're not busy, that is the best time to do it. You would know, uh, you could ask uh, some of the sales reps to see whether or not if they know when is like sort of the best time when they're about to close, when they're freshly open, you know, to go in there and start testing those things and not have a whole lot of people in the way to where you feel like you got to move over to the side because somebody coming in and they want to smell something that's right by you. Okay. Um, I have a list of some things that I want. I know I want body mists mainly. If anything, I want that uh, coconut butter, body butter that they have. Um, if I can get that at a reasonable price, that would be great. I want the oil because I'm hoping that that will not, uh, the fragrance will not evaporate or leave, you know, so soon and, or expire like their um, moisturizers. I'm trying to hold off. Um, I need to use up some items before I can bring something else in. And I on a no buy. Anybody on a no buy? Because I'm only one person and I can't use uh, but so much stuff at a time. And I have learned that I cannot buy all those lotions, moisturizers, um, creams, and butters, and uh, use them up in a certain amount of time. So I'm not trying to buy a whole lot of that. Um, if anything, I need to look through my collection and see what I might want to return. And that is something that you want to do as well. With you testing these things out and smelling them, hopefully putting them on your hands and see how they go. Then, you know, rinse your hands and go put on a mist um, somewhere on your hand. Um, most likely because if you put it on the paper, it's not the same as on your body. That fragrance can change. So you want to make sure that you are testing it on your skin or on your clothes and see how it smells and if it suits you. So, if they have a semi-annual sale, these are some of the items that I would like to collect. And I want the Gentle Cleansing um, Foam Hand Soap Refills. I feel like I can stop buying a whole lot of the, um, I'll say, containers because to me it is sort of like wasting. I want to be able to purchase the refills that they have and save on trash bulk and uh just to let you know too and if we get our items and we test them out early smell them use them we will be able to limit reduce the volume of returns hopefully because you know sometimes we get at home and we don't wear it for a while and be like i don't really like this but hopefully when you get in there, that initial spray, then on the dry down, and then whatever you moisturize yourself in from the moisturizers, once it sets a little bit, you don't walk around in the store, you can go back and smell it. And hopefully it will be something that you will want to keep. Okay. Some of the items that I want to get for the cleansing hand soaps, um, if I were to get them, it would be... Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, White Pumpkin, Sweet Whiskey, of course. Sweet Whiskey is on the top of the list. Golden Citrus and Vanilla, Cozy Cashmere, Sunrise Wood, Red Cherry, Oud, Autumn Foliage, Terracotta Canyon, 
warm vanilla sugar. And then I also saw white coconut caramel and raspberry jam. I would like to smell those and see how these um, soaps smell and see if it's something that I would want to add to my semi-annual sale list. Wish list. Now, y'all, this is... Ooh, you got some? <laughs> okay, y'all. This is something that I had picked up from Trader Joe's. Yes. I went there and picked up some items. They had some um, new items that I hadn't had before, and I wanted to try them. Now, the first one that I have is Trader Joe's Pumpkin Body Butter. This is a luxurious body butter made with coconut oil, shea butter, and pumpkin seed oil. And this is something that I've seen on social media, and I saw a lot of people that had it and gave their review. And this is the packaging. Isn't that lovely? And this is something that I wanted to try. I am not a pumpkin girl, but I'm finding that some of the fragrances that they have out, um, Bath and Body Works has created, I am enjoying them. So I would like to try this and see if I like it. And uh, this is another thing that I wanted to do was get me like one fragrance that is probably pumpkin get my body mist and my body mist may have different fragrance notes in it but the base of my lotion or moisturizer will be maybe mainly a pumpkin fragrance with cinnamon probably in it and i can take those fragrances and just have once one moisturizer to blend with uh multiple same note fragrance mists or perfumes so i'm hoping to enjoy that that would be something i probably won't be adding to my um mist or use it up collection this fall because it's something i just purchased so i think i can hold off on that there are things that i have to use up now and that is what i'm focusing on I also picked up Trader Joe's Lemongrass Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner with Shea Butter and Argon Oil. And this is a 15.2 fluid ounce containers. And this is supposed to be new, y'all. And I'm hoping that this will work for my natural hair and help me to be able to clean it and manage it. And this is a safe color, safe for color treated hair. It has no phthalates parabens, or silicones. And this is how you open it. So hopefully it will be easy for me to grip it. I purchased two of these, the conditioners, because usually the um, shampoo will last me longer, but we, we shall see. We shall see. And that is all I have from Trader Joe's. Okay, y'all, this is from Walmart. I found me something that I felt that I was looking for for a while was to update my um, robe. And I found this and I like it. This is the robe that I chose. At first, I wasn't sure about getting this because I didn't want it to look all kinked up or whatever you want to call it to where it changes its form. Hopefully I will let it um, air dry and hopefully it will not look rough or whatever, but we shall see y'all. But this is nice. This was $24.98. Um, this is, I got a 2X because my arms are long and I wanted something that I could, you know, when winter the colder season comes i wanted something that i would be able to wear under my thicker night gear and give me some space you know so that's why i chose a 2x but i think it is so cute and at the bottom this is how it looks and i love this 
pattern for some reason. I can have it in any color, this pattern. But yes, this is something I treated myself to. I had saw it um, last year and was going to get it, but I never did get it because they didn't have my size. So it just stayed right there in the store. And I just went on and got it this time because I wanted to be ready and have me something nice for the winter season or cooler season. This is something that I picked up. I only picked up two, um, but they had these for $5. And I thought these were lovely. This is something that I picked up that I want to try and see if this will work for my salads. Sometimes we can um, try to be healthy in our decisions of what we eat, but when we continue to eat the same thing, have the same recipes over and over again, we can become discouraged and not want to continue it and go back to our old habits. And I'm trying to prevent that. So this is something that I want to try to add to my salads and hopefully it will, you know, work out for me. Here are some things that uh, my husband and I like to pick up sometimes. And this is, we want a snack. And this is sugar-free chocolate candy by Russell Stover's. And this is something that we usually pick up sometimes and uh, enjoy a snack every once in a while. And uh, here are the nutritious facts. Some people don't care for to eat stuff like that. And some they say, just go ahead and just eat the real thing. Just everything you eat is in moderation. But that is something that we like to pick up and eat every once in a while. My daughter and I, we went to a... Oh, this is the other thing that I picked up. This is something that I found again, which is the basis soap that um, I was recommended to um, my daughter, and I decided to try it as well. You can't find this inside of the soap area. You have to go to the beauty area where they have like um, Eucerin, Cetaphil, um, different things like that to go and find this. And if you can't find it, just ask someone and hopefully they can look it up and point you in the direction of where it is. But this is a nice bar. It's for sensitive skin. It cleanses and soothes, it says. But I wanted something, you know, now that my body is going through a change. Well, it's been going through that for a minute, a good minute. I want something that will not irritate my body. So I've been using this and looking for this to be nice and... Um, complement my um, hygiene um, routine. So, you know, with me using Bath and Body Works things, I don't need to go as far sometimes as always using a cleanser with a fragrance as well, you know. So, this is something that I like to use. You can also take it in the shower. And no, I don't like it being disgustingly nasty. I do clean and rinse my bar off when I do use it. Some people just like shower gels and whatever. I can use that on my face, um, on sensitive areas, and not, you know, be irritated. My daughter and I, we went to uh, Fresh... To the fresh market and then we went to sprouts and this is something that i usually like to pick up this is banana nut butter and this is a keto um granola it doesn't have the carbs that you would normally get in a granola so this is majority of the flavors that i have tried i like all of them so yeah and it was on sale. I try to wait for a sale and then I just go ahead and just uh, stock up on these. These are nice to put in your yogurt. Um, you can add it milk to it. Um, they give you different, um, a variety of ways to uh, eat this. And uh, I enjoy it. I really do. 
this is something that we saw at Sprouts, and this is milk chocolate covered raisins. Um, I'm gonna pick these up and probably try to see if anybody in the house would like to eat these. And uh, yeah, here are the nutritious facts. And sometimes if I eat these, cause I try to watch my carbs and my sugars, um, this is something that I will, I'm sorry y'all, it's a little shiny. Isn't it? This is something that I will just eat less of the portion size and then just have a nice time eating it. Control y'all, control. We gotta have control over what we um, deal with because if we let it control us, it won't be a good ending. This is something that my husband um, had received in the mail and it's from Bath and Body Works. Um, I think a month ago or two, my husband had made an order from the men's collection sale. When he received his packaging, it um, something in there had broken. And he we called and let them know that so they all were aware of what had happened. And this is what I'm thinking is that they um, were sorry about what had happened. And... Uh, yeah, this is something that they have blessed them with. And if you go online, you'll see you get five of these. And some of them are, I'm just going to go through it fast, y'all. This is the Cozy Cashmere. Flannel. Sweater weather. And it has some more in here, but nice fall, a nice fall collection of that. We received the stress relief of the aromatherapy. They gave him this vampire blood, something I would never buy. I don't think I would ever Something I'm not fond of. I don't like this. So I guess for me to have to look at it, I could take that off because it looks creepy. This is um, Peach Bellini soap. And I like the fact that they have this sealed. He received Fresh Rainfall. The soap. They blessed him with this for the hold your um, soap dispensers in. This is lovely, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all, this is lovely. This is lovely, the colors of this. Look at that, and this is something in here just to protect the shape, but that is so pretty. Look at that, just beautiful. And this, and this is like, the um, soap dispenser container holder. Isn't that beautiful? So I don't plan on turning any of this back in. I assume that they wanted to bless us and uh, let them know that they're sorry for what had happened. And this is vampire blood. Don't care for that. This is something I would never have purchased, and it is this. I don't do spiders, y'all. Don't do spiders. But this is what they had given us, and this is pretty, though. I mean, just this color. You see the color? This will be a return because, no, I don't want that as a decor in my home. This is something I don't want to take out. But if you see this, you will know what it is. And it is to hold your, it's a soap dispenser. I'm just grateful that Bath & Body Works um, blessed us, blessed my husband with this. What I say, what is his is mine and what's mine is his. Blessed us with this. And thank you so much for taking out your time to watch my video. I will check y'all out on the next video. Be blessed.